Do you want to learn how to create universal custom frameworks in Swift? Well, you're in good place because in this tutorial, I will teach you how to do just that. Make sure to check out the chapters so you can jump through the timeline. Alex here from rebeloper.com and I want you to hit that subscribe button and open up Xcode. Let's dive in. So let's dive into frameworks. So why would you want to create a framework? Well, because frameworks are kind of hiding everything in the implementation part. And uh, this is a good use case, secrets, top secret manager. And uh, yeah, what we are doing in this is initializing the manager with the key. Of course, you want to have a key. And if it is authorized, then we can read our secret. Now, these are the approved keys that we can use. Uh, uh, but of course, you might want to have a fetch request here from a server to verify that key. Okay, so basically that is it. Before we go forward with uh, how to create uh, this uh, framework, let me just uh, tell you that uh, if you have a public class or variable or function or initializer, that will be available for the public, basically. Uh, they can use it uh, uh, in their projects. But if it's private, as you can see here and here, then it will not be available. You can just omit private and uh, then it will be internal by default. Also internal means that it's internal for this um, framework, basically. Okay, so what we're going to build out is a secret reader uh, framework. So let's do that uh, from scratch. Let's open up Xcode. And inside Xcode, let's create file new and project. Okay, so file new project. Let me just uh, resize this so you can see it a little bit better. Awesome. Now you want to scroll all the way down and select framework. So that is what we are going to create next. And I will name this secrets. Awesome. And let's click on the next here. And uh, yeah, let's just create a new file here. So let's just drag and drop a new folder and let's create it right over here. And I will create a Git repository on my Mac so you can later check out the uh, code. Okay, so as you can see, all we got here is a secrets.h file and an info plist file, and of course the product. Now, if you right click on the product and show it in the finder, you will see that here is actually our framework. And uh, yeah, if you just go ahead and yeah, it, this is Mac Catalyst, but we want to select, let's see, iPhone let's say the Pro Max. Okay, if we build and run, so let's hit Command B. Okay, it has succeeded. Now let's show in Finder. You can see that uh, in, uh, before the Catalyst, you have an iPhone simulator. And basically that is what we want. For now, uh, we can just select both of them and delete them. Let's move to the bin. Okay, so yeah, that's that. How to add a new file here? Let's just create a new file and I will call this Secrets Manager. So click on next there. There we go. Secrets Manager. Let's create that. Okay. And now I will just simply go ahead and copy all of this out and do the appropriate changes because, yeah, it, it's straightforward. I don't want to waste time just uh, typing that out. So Secrets Manager, there it is. And yeah, let's just hit Command B right now and build has succeeded. Awesome. And of course, if we just go to the finder, the iPhone simulator framework has been created. How awesome is that? Okay, so uh, what you might want to do is just create a kind of a, a demo project where you can uh, easily test this out. So let's just go here. And uh, as you can see, we have the target as the framework. Let's click on this plus button here and let's create a new Xcode project. So let's go down here, single view application will be fine for us. And I will name this secrets demo or whatever you'd like to do that. So secrets demo, let's uh, click on finish here. 
And as you can see, the Secrets demo app has been added and of the target basically. Okay, so what we want to do is just under view controller, do some coding. And again, I will just copy and paste this because it's really straightforward. Let's just copy this out, move back. First thing first, we want to import uh, Secrets. There we go. And then we just want to paste this here. So there we go. Let's hit command B. Of course, yeah, we are now, you can't really see that, but we are currently in the secrets demo. So let's go there. And here, yeah, as you can see, this is a secret manager. There we go. If we hit command B, we should be able to have this basically this uh, use of unresolved identifier. So what we want to do next is just go ahead and select that target. There we go. And just scroll all the way down. And as you can see, frameworks, libraries, and embedded content, we have none. So let's just click on the plus sign here and just add the secrets framework. Okay, so let's hit Command B again, as you can see on the demo again. And let's just uh, write this all over again, because it's not secret manager, it's secrets manager. And here we have our key and one, two, three, four, five. I do know that is a valid key. So what we want to do now is just a build and run. We don't really care about um, the simulator. All we want to see is either of these print statements. And now we should be able to print out the secret. Let's just wait for that. And there we go. And here it is. The secret is I love custom frameworks. And indeed, that is what we have set right over here. Awesome. Now, let's just double check if we just remove one from the key, one letter there from the key. Be it has succeeded, that's okay, but failed to read secret. Really, really nice. Okay, so uh, what you want to do is just add this in a separate project because yeah, this is just the demo project. So let's just create that. So under Xcode file a new, let's create a new project again. And I will name this project. Let me just resize this real quick. I will name this project secrets uh, reader. So not framework, but a single view application. Next, let's click on next there and Create that. Awesome. Now what we want to do is just add some frameworks that are manual frameworks. So let's create a group here. Okay, so how would you go about adding that new framework? Well, let's just move back here. And as you can see here, if we just jump to a show in Finder for the secrets.framework, you will see that we have uh, this uh, debug iPhone simulator and secrets dot framework. So uh, that is what you want to kind of copy and paste into that other project. So let's go back to Xcode and uh, let's just drag and drop this. So secrets dot framework. There it is. Now make sure copy items if needed is checked, create groups is checked. And of course the target is checked. So let's click on finish here. And now you will see that uh, it has appeared under frameworks, libraries, and embedded content. And currently it's uh, do not embed. And let me just build and run this project. Uh, and it has of course failed. All you have to do is just select embed and sign or embed without signing. So let's go embed and sign. And let's just select iPhone Pro Max. Okay, let's just build and run. And now you won't be seeing that error again. Build has succeeded. Let's just wait for the print statement. Yeah, because we haven't added the print statement. Let's just do that. So let's just copy this out. Let's go back, view controller. And of course we need to import secrets. There we go. Now let's hit command R to see that build and run again and have, yes, Failed to read secret because we don't have uh, that uh, key ready. Let's just build and run and see if we do get that secret. The secret is I love custom frameworks. Really, really nice. Okay, so now let's just select 
I, on my phone I have disconnected and uh, let's just build and run on my phone and as you can see build has failed and uh, yeah that is and you could not find module secrets and so on so what this means is that when we are creating and if you just take a look at uh, the finder we have created a secret framework for the simulator so we need to create one for uh, our device too so let's just go back to our framework secrets.framework and then select our phone and hit command b and now we should compile build has succeeded awesome okay so um yes uh secrets demo oh that's one thing but i really meant uh, this on the framework so let's hit command b again build has succeeded awesome now let's take a look at the finder so now we have iphone os and uh, again we have a secrets framework and uh, yeah we could just drag and drop that also into our other project let's just see here but then we would have two frameworks so yeah that is not quite what we want we want universal frameworks so to do that we want to create another framework and that we will do by creating a new target first so hooray uh, let's just go here secret reader secrets this is the one okay so now we have our secrets framework our secrets demo and let's just click on the plus sign here and select cross-platform and aggregate so what we are going to do is kind of take those two the os and the simulator and uh, create a universal one so the product name let's say secrets universal that would be a really nice uh, name for our product let's get finish here and what we want to do here is basically go to our build faces and click on this plus button and create a new uh, run script okay just open that up let me make some room here and in here uh, we will add a new script now what type of script delete everything like that commented line and go ahead and check out the link in the description where you will f have a good download this script now it's called universal framework script uh, go ahead and check it out uh, i will just copy and paste this in here uh, yeah i'm not a um, good scripter myself well experienced scripter myself i just kind of um, made this through searching from stack overflow and on uh, github yeah go ahead and check it out i have also added some comments there so now what we want to do as you can see i added this uh, script into the secrets universal target what we want to do is just select this target and then here just select generic ios device so the universal target and generic ios device of course make sure that you have already created uh, these iphone os and iphone simulator uh, frameworks yes so those two are there should be there okay let's go back and now let's hit command b and uh, this should build in a moment and yes build has succeeded so now let's take a look at what we got here as you can see a new debug ios universal has been created secrets dot framework and this is what we are basically going to drag and drop into our uh, other uh, project secrets reader so let's just remove this so delete move to trash okay and uh, now let's just drag and drop this from the ios universal awesome let's click finish yeah, make sure all of those are checked let's hit command b so we can see that it all compiles and build has succeeded awesome and uh, now we can build and run build has succeeded yes let's unlock our device here yes and this is again image not found uh, you just need to uh, enable it so let's just go all the way down and do not embed change that to embed and sign yeah you will get into this error most probably so there we go build has succeeded 
and let me just unlock that and yeah secret i love custom frameworks awesome now let's see if this also works on our simulator and if it does then yeah beard has succeeded how awesome is that and the secret is i love custom frameworks how awesome is that now you know how you can create universal custom frameworks so this is how you can hide your implementation through a custom iOS framework. Now, if you are stuck, go ahead and check out the link in the description. I am available for one-on-one -on -one mentoring. Now, I want you to hit that notification bell because in the next video, we are going to demystify UI table views. That's right, UI table views to the rescue. So while you wait for that, make sure to check out these videos as well. I talk a lot about UI, Swift, Swift UI in general, and as usual, I will see you in the next one.